Today, I want to talk about the science behind cheat meals. Cheat meals. Cheat meals. Cheat meals. Cheat meals. Cheat meals. Cheat day. Cheat day. Cheat day. Cheat meals. Cheat meals. Cheat meals. How important are cheat meals? Should I have cheat meals? How often should I have cheat meals? Jeff, do you ever have cheat meals? We're going to cover it all today. Now, first of all, I think we should define what a cheat meal is to you. And here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. The cheat meal, the meal at the end of the week that you've been holding out for. This whole week you've trained, you've stayed disciplined, you've been focused. Well now, it's time to take that discipline and take that focus and put it towards something, something that's enjoyable. For many of you, my love for pancakes is no secret. As much effort as I put into the gym on a weekly basis, I put into demoing a stack of 12 to 14 pancakes weekly. Not only does this help my mental fortitude and well-being for the week ahead, but it's a reset, something to look forward to, something to enjoy, treat myself. And it motivates me, it motivates me to go hard, harder in training. It's a reward I get if I put the effort in. The light at the end of the tunnel. The extra kick I need to get my ass out of the bed to train, to train hard, and to train properly. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is NZ Rookie, and welcome back to what is an absolute corker of a video, mate. So, I've asked this question a couple times on my fitness Instagram. Obviously, you guys know, plug me up, at Tim Johnson Fitness. I basically asked the question of, would you guys like to see an NZ Rookie specialty pancake tutorial, mate? And the general consensus was, absolutely. So, of course, if you're not following me on that account, at Tim Johnson Fitness, make sure to head on over, click the follow button, and then you can also be a part of, you know, the video selection process. I hope you guys enjoyed the little, you know, introduction sequence. It was a bit dramatic considering, you know, we're making pancakes, but at the same time, it was pretty cool. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm trying my best to upload every single week. If you want a different style of video, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below, or flip me a message on my fitness Instagram. And without further ado, let's get into making some pancakes. So first of all, we're going to be covering ingredients. Now these pancakes, these are not healthy pancakes. These will most certainly get you closer to obesity, diabetes, heart disease, probably COVID. But let's be honest, you've worked all week, you're hungry, you want some f***ing pancakes. So we're going to make some yummy pancakes, if you know what I mean. So the ingredients are as follows. The dry ingredients are, of course, flour. You can use any type of flour. I personally just use plain flour because I think it's the best, works the best, tastes the nicest. And texture-wise, the pancakes come out pretty pristine mate and then also what we're going to be needing to make the pancakes rise is some baking soda and some baking powder again pretty simple ingredients you shouldn't have to go out and get these most of the stuff you will need to make these pancakes should be inside the pantry then moving on to the less dry ingredients aka the wet ingredients you're going to be needing two eggs Butter? Is butter a dry ingredient? It's like a solid, but it's kind of soft. Anyway, you're going to be needing butter, some kind of yogurt, like a Greek yogurt or a natural yogurt, and then milk. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a dry mixture and then mixing in our own, like, buttermilk with the eggs and the butter. And we're going to get this mixture that just knocks the tits off any pancakes you've ever had. So, for this recipe, I'm going to say that it makes four servings. It's usually about 12 to 14 pancakes, depending on the size of the pancake you make. So again, this should feed about three to four people, or if you're like me, and when it comes to pancakes, you have the appetite of an 87-ton gorilla. 
You're gonna you're gonna chum to this this whole recipe, man. I think I am gonna end up with heart disease, but you know. Okay, guys. So starting out with the dry ingredients, what I recommend you grab is a mixing bowl and the cups that you will need for your measurements, because we're starting out with plain flour and we're using two and a half cups of plain flour. Now, as you can see here, I kind of just guesstimate, but what I recommend you do is use the appropriate measuring cups and also a knife or a spoon to flatten out the flour and get the most accurate reading. I guesstimate. My pancakes turned out all right, but if you want the pristine texture those thicky pancakes measure it properly then we add our baking powder now this helps our pancakes to rise once again giving it that firm texture that nice thickness we are adding one teaspoon here of baking powder as you can see it takes me a while to get the teaspoon right because you don't want to add too much you don't want to add too little so if you have an actual teaspoon measurement use that as well then we also add a little bit of baking soda again the same amount one teaspoon of baking soda the combination of the baking powder and baking soda they do some chemistry some chemical reactions in the pan and you get some nice thick pancakes then what we're going to do is mix that all together so don't get any chunky bits of baking soda or baking powder into our dry mixture before we mix it with the wet and get a delicious pancake base. Alright guys, now we're going to prep the wet ingredients. So step one, we... Alright, you know what, all things, considering I just threw yogurt halfway across the room, they ended pretty well. So as I was saying, we're going to be prepping the wet ingredients, starting with yogurt, because we're making our own homemade buttermilk. So once again, we're going to be using two and a half cups, two and a half cups of buttermilk, which is made up of both the yogurt and the milk. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your cup, you're going to get your yogurt, you're going to fill probably two thirds of this cup up with yogurt, and then you're gonna fill the rest with milk. You're gonna do that two and a half times, and that is gonna give us our buttermilk. Right, I don't trust my manual dexterity. So I'm using a spoon. Right, so you can see that there. It's like two thirds of a cup filled with yogurt. Then we fill the rest with milk. Oh yes. And then what we do is we slap that in the bowl, mate. Right, then we do it a second time, cup number two. Fill that sucker with milk. And then she goes. And for the last time, but we only do a half cup this time, so roughly half. Right, so this is our buttermilk, it's basically milk and yogurt mixed. So I'm just going to mix that together until we get something that resembles, you know, not a liquid consistency, but not a solid consistency, like somewhere in the middle. Dead easy, get your dry ingredients, get your buttermilk, and just pour that bitch in. Then it's pretty simple, two eggs, crack those suckers, put them in. Let me do this from a height. Egg from a height. Oh my god. Whoops. Egg number two, crack that sucker, put them in there. And then finally, because we want our pancakes to be buttery, to be smooth, to just have that, you know, bit of flair, we're gonna cut down a stick of this butter, chuck it in the microwave, and throw it in. Right, so as you guys can see, I've melted down the butter right here. So all I'm gonna do is throw this into the bowl. Then I'm gonna mix this sucker together. Be careful not to over mix it. You still want a few flour pockets. And then the fun part begins. The cooking process. Now, ladies and gents, the fun part begins. The cooking of the pancakes. So I'm starting off just buttering up the pan to ensure that the pancakes don't stick. Again, we want that pan nice and buttery to get some flavor on those pancakes. I use a tea towel, uh, well, a paper towel, just to rub it around. Uh, prepare my toppings. I quite like banana in my pancakes. I'm a big banana pancake fan. But yeah, butter your pan, put it to like medium low heat, Get your toppings ready because we're about to start cooking. Now, size wise, again, this is up to you. I tend to use a third cup for my pancakes. They make pretty big pancakes, like you could probably only at the very most fit two stacks on a plate. Then I put my toppings on, flip them over, and those suckers come out thick, boy. What other toppings do I put on? I tend to put on butter, syrup, bacon if there is any, peanut butter, jam. The whole shebang, man. You know why? Because we deserved it. It was a long, hard week. We got through it. We uploaded another video. And you know what, mate? Those don't look too bad. Again, not my best performance, but not too shabby. And I tell you what, man. Sitting, editing this video, it's all I've eaten today. It was fucking delicious. Smooth, buttery, thick, sweet. Everything you could want. And just like that, my friends, the pancakes have been completed. Are they my best work? No. Do I give a bollocks? Not really. Whether they are my best or not is irrelevant because they look good, they look delicious. This week was a tough week, 
I'm treating myself, I'm not cheating myself, and you guys should do the exact same thing. If you enjoyed this video and these pancakes, please leave a like. If you're new around here to the channel, subscribe. I'm gonna go and demo these. And hopefully, if you guys followed along with this video, you'll go and demo your pancakes too. Until next time, adios. To change your